We're here in the Specialized Suspension Lab to show you the auto sag feature on the stump jumper. It's an easy to use system, it's repeatable, and it'll get you out the door faster to enjoy your rides. It's four easy steps. You either remove your brain fade adjustment or your compression knob on your shock, fill the valve to 300 PSI, climb onto the bike, Remove the red auto sag cap. Once the cap is removed, all you need to do is press this red valve until all the air is released. Once all the air is released, you have auto sagged successfully and you can reinstall your red cap. Then you'll cycle the suspension to transfer positive and negative air. At that point, you can see that auto sag has successfully achieved 25% sag. It's quick. It's repeatable and it's correct. Now go shred. We're here in the Specialized Suspension Lab to show you the auto sag feature on the stump jumper. It's an easy to use system, it's repeatable, and it'll get you out the door faster to enjoy your rides. It's four easy steps. You either remove your brain fade adjustment or your compression knob on your shock, fill the valve to 300 PSI, Climb onto the bike, remove the red auto sag cap. Once the cap is removed, all you need to do is press this red valve until all the air is released. Once all the air is released, you have auto sag successfully and you can reinstall your red cap. Then you'll cycle the suspension to transfer positive and negative air. At that point, you can see that auto sag 